This one is from The Balance. An article from The Balance. And I tapped on it to see how a demand deposit work. Demand deposits work like this. One, you open up a demand deposit account at your bank. You deposit money into that account. Three, the bank holds onto your money for safekeeping. Four, you can access your money whenever you need it without receiving approval from the bank. Your bank may also charge monthly fees to maintain your account, but you can usually avoid these fees by maintaining a minimum balance or setting up direct deposit if it's a checking account. Each bank has its own fee policy. Types of demand deposits. There are three main types of demand deposit accounts, checking accounts, saving accounts, and money marketing accounts. Checking account. A checking account is one of the most common type of demand deposit accounts. It comes with a debit card and checkbook. So you can use your money at any time to pay bills, buy items in store, make purchases online, pay friends, withdraw cash, and more. Checking accounts are the most ex accessible type of bank accounts, but they also pay the less amount of interest. Most checking accounts don't earn interest at all. Of those that do, the current national average is around 0.03% APY. There are many different types of checking accounts, including online interest bearing, reward, student, and senior checking accounts. <clears throat> the next type is saving account. Saving accounts are another popular type of demand deposit account. You typically earn more interest in a saving account than you would with a checking account but there are a few more restrictions to keep in mind for example you cannot make more than six transfers or withdrawals a month due to regulation d <clears throat> this includes pre-authorized automatic transfers like transfers for direct bill payments or overdraft protection, as well as any transfer and withdrawals initiated by telephone, fax, or computer. It also includes transfers when making purchases and those by check or debit card. Withdrawals made in person at a bank branch, by mail, or at an ATM do not count toward the six per month limit if you go over this limit your bank may charge a fee or convert your saving account into a checking account most banks don't provide atm cards for saving accounts which means you'll have to transfer money to another account if you want to withdraw cash via an atm note although rare if ever exercised in practice, banks must still reserve the right to require seven days advance written notice for an intended, uh, intended withdrawal. Okay, the next one is money market account. Think of a money market account as a saving and checking hybrid account. You can get benefit of having a debit card and checks at your disposal <clears throat> and you earn higher interest than you would with a typical checking account the biggest downside of money market accounts is that like saving accounts you cannot make more than six withdrawals a month <clears throat> excluding those made in person at an ATM or by mail, 
A bank may also require you to maintain a higher balance to get started with the money marketing account. <clears throat> and that reading was from uh you know uh balance which was types of demand accounts and how demand deposits work 